the next thing I wanted to show you is some of the advanced features that WordPress has. And uh, the first one I wanted to kind of go over is blog stats. Now on your um, main site, on, on your dashboard there, um, are the stats stats area. Obviously there's going to be none available, but I wanted to take you into the actual um, application itself because it's really cool and it's, it's, it's quite good. Um, you know, you can see the referrers, uh, basically other sites who have sent you traffic, search engine terms, top posts, the pages, clicks, um, and some of the blog stats. Um, so the, the thing you have to remember is that it doesn't count my own visits to the blog. Um, so um, if you're, you know, you're clicking refresh and you're hoping to see blog stats pop up, you're probably not going to see it. So um, another thing I wanted to mention is that... Um, you could change your address from hrcoolguy.wordpress.com to simply hrcoolguy.com. Um, and the way you do that is with adding a domain. Um, and obviously, I'm not going to buy one here, but um, if you wanted to, um, you, know, um, you know, add your domain to it. Uh, and all you'd have to do is select a, select a domain that, that isn't... Uh, um, isn't already used and basically fill out the information you're gonna have to pay some money to do this um, but it's it's only seventeen dollars um, and as far as not having to worry about all the other hosting um, issues um, yeah the registration is five dollars and the mapping is twelve so seventeen dollars total to basically add a domain um, if you have a domain already like let's say um, You've got you've got a domain for your business, and you just want to add the blog to that. Um, that's mapping, and um, I will tell you that that uh, mapping is probably something you want to have your uh, IT uh, people involved in. Um, so, you know, get with them; they can help you figure out how to do it with your domain and, and get it to look right. So, uh, the other cool thing that they allow to do is if you ever move um, your WordPress.com site. Um, and you decide to self-host, um, which is an entirely different topic. But if you decide to take it off WordPress.com and host it on your own servers, um, you could do that. You could basically um, have your uh, your your redirect uh, get basically be set to you know whatever website you need to, um, and that's going to redirect all of your blog traffic to that new website. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's one of the ways that um, WordPress offers a lot of continuity whenever you're setting up a uh, a, a, a blog there. Um, some of the other uh, settings I just wanted to show you are just some general things as far as um, um, things. So the first one is the tagline, um, and you'll want to you know maybe update your tagline or delete it completely. Um, you can also change your time zone. So right now. Um, we are, um, you can either use minus seven because it's daylight savings time, or you can choose a, uh, a city that's, that's close by. So I'm just going to use, um, I'll use Vancouver, um, Vancouver, BC. So that will automatically adjust my settings there. You can change the date, the time, the week, what day the week starts on. So you're really getting into some of the more, um, more intricacies of, of that. Um, you can kind of go through some of the write, writing things. So uh, just showing like what um, the size of the post box is, the default post category, um, you know, what the default link category is. Um, you can save that as well. Um, reading is kind of the interesting one too. You can see uh, how many blog pages to show, uh, how many blog posts to show. Um, on that front page. Um, so you'll show right now 10, uh, 10 posts um, and the syndication feeds, um, which is basically an RSS feed, how people use, uh, how people subscribe to your, your blog. Um, they can also view up to 10 items at a time. So that's, uh, that's about it there. As far as discussion is concerned, you can you can change your comment settings so um, you know if, if you wanted to block all comments um, you can do that if you wanted to um, you know if you want to have users uh, be registered unlocked and remember that whenever you add a, a barrier to people 
commenting, you're going to lose a certain percentage of that. So if your blog's purpose is to get discussion going or that sort of thing, then you'll want to make this as easy as possible without allowing spammers to hit you. Um, and you'll you'll want to uh, also make sure that aligns well with kind of your overall uh, blogging strategy. So those are the, primarily the big ones that helps people get started. And then as you get going, you're going to have some specific questions. Um, what I like to recommend people do um, if they're available there um, is to use WordPress.com's support. Um, and um, you could do this basically by searching um, right there at the top uh, right hand side. Uh, how do I add a link? Um, I'm going to just go ahead and search there. Yeah, and so you can see that, that you do that. You can also go to the support area um, and you know, uh, you can you could add some, ask some really basic questions, see see some of the uh, most popular questions, like how do I get started? Um, and I've kind of run you through some of that, but that could kind of go into some of the intricacies of of getting going. All right, well, you're on your way. Um, feel free to message me if you have any problems. Um, you could get me at rehaul.com, or um, you can message me using the information at the session. Thanks.